Greetings, lovelies. It's Emmy. Today I will be eating more candy. Went to go visit some friends in Philly a few weeks ago, and if you haven't seen that video, I'll put the link down below. And when we went there, we went to tons of different places, including this little place. Oops. Ding, ding, ding. Shane Confectionery. And it claims to be, I believe, the longest operating confectionery in the US. And it's a really quaint shop located in on Market Street. Uh, it's owned by two brothers, I believe now, who have remodeled the entire space to make it look like an old-timey candy shop. This is a small box of their handmade um, chocolates. So they have beautiful glass displays of different kinds of handmade chocolates. So unfortunately, <laughs> these are not labeled, so I don't remember exactly what they are. So it'll be kind of a surprise. So let's go ahead and get started. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous. It's brushed with a kind of metallic silver powder. It looks like some kind of alloy. I'm going to cut them in half and then eat them with my favorite knife again. Turns out it's just dark chocolate in the middle. Mmm. Really nice dark chocolate. Very smooth, very intense, rich chocolate flavor. Scrumptious. Love that. If you're a dark chocolate fan, you'll really like that. I'm going to alternate between chocolates and other things. This is a mustache lollipop. So let's give it a taste. Mmm. I think it's grape. Yeah, it's just a grape lollipop, but it's in the form of a mustache. Very, very cute. They had a bunch of different colors of mustache. I thought black was the most realistic looking. It's called Clear Toy Candy. Pennsylvania German tradition dates back to 18th century. Clear toys were gifted to children during the holiday season. The candies are handmade on site in historic old city of Philadelphia with antique Victorian candy molds. In keeping with tradition, we make these candies only at holiday time. I bought a few of these clear toys and they are so beautiful. I think this is probably my favorite thing that I discovered there. Look at that. <laughs> Tiny little squirrel. And he's perfect. And I don't I don't want to eat him in this kind of Halloween themed bag. <laughs> It's a hand. Look at that. How cool is that? The detail is incredible. Look at that. It reminds me of, I believe they're called milagros, little Mexican charms to cure people of different maladies. How sweet is that? So here's the cat, the front, and there's the back. Amazing detail. You know, it just tastes like sugar. I don't really taste any flavoring. I might have to bite Kitty's head off. Mm, here we go. Hmm. It just tastes like sugar. Yeah. Kind of disappointed, but still, it doesn't take away from the really stinking adorableness of it all. This isn't a sponsored post, by the way. I just found this candy shop and wanted to share it with you. Disclaimer. Thanks. Back to our regularly scheduled show. Here's the chocolate, but look how cute. There's a lot of attention to detail. It has a cream kind of filling. Mm-hmm. Oh man, that's so good. That's coffee. Those little flecks in there are little bits of ground coffee. It's scrumptious. Outside has a nice shell of milk chocolate. And inside is a very, very sweet filling. A nice coffee flavor. Look at this beautiful thing. Leone candy original. I guess these are from Italy. I love this packaging. They had a, a bunch of these pastilles um, or lozenges. I think maybe eight different flavors, but I only got one because I knew I'd be eating a lot of other things. And I got absinthe flavor, which I'm sure doesn't have any real absinthe in it. It's supposed to have kind of psychoactive properties to it. I'm in love. So stinking cute. Look at that. Mmm, it has a very curious smell. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> it's quite chalky. It's a bit like a, an Altoid. The flavor I don't particularly care for. It's like a blend of anise and black licorice. <laughs> Definitely bitter and tastes medicinal. So it, it's, it seems like it's more of like a tonic. I don't really like it, but I love this packaging. Uh, let's try this one. Look at this beautiful nut. One. And this one too has a soft center. 
Mmm. Wow. The center bit tastes a bit like a maple. Very, very peanutty. Um, peanutty outside. It's just peanutty and chocolate. Not bad. If you like peanut butter, I think you'll really like that. What is that? Sen Sen Confection Sucre. Sucre? Sounds French. Uh, breathtaking refreshment. Created in the mid 1890s, Sen Sen Throat Ease and Breath Perfume is the first commercial breath freshener in the US. Valuable to singers and speakers, Sen Sen's blend of licorice, rare herbs, effectively mask odors of smoke, food, and drink. Oh, oh my gosh. They are not what I expected at all. Look at this. It almost looks like little dirt squares. <laughs> Amazing. They're tiny, tiny, tiny squares. Look how small. Whoa. Whoa. Now I see why they're so tiny. Oh my gosh. That tastes like grandma's attic. It's, it tastes gross, but it's kind of, it has a little bit of a floral taste to it. Again, like the pastille, slightly bitter. A little bit of a mint, definitely some licorice, and really strong, but I've never had anything like that before. It does that same thing where that licorice does. It kind of gives you that taste of, for me, that taste of artificial sweetener, the aspartame taste. But it comes from this tiny little speck that sits on your tongue. If if like you if you were to like suck on a pomander, that's what that would taste like. Very very interesting. This is a whirly burly whirly burly. Look at this beautiful interior. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Yum. On the top are some cocoa nibs, which give a nice crunch and really nice chocolate ganache flavor. A slight bitterness from the cocoa nibs. I think there might be some salted caramel in there. So, so good. Original Salem Blackjack. This is the first candies made and sold commercially in America. Made from blackstrap molasses, originated in Salem by George W. Pepper Company, circa 1930. Still made by the original recipe and still cut by hand. Sounds awesome. Look at these beautiful sticks. These remind me a bit of the Caneel sticks that I ate in one of my Emmy Eats at the Netherlands videos. It was these cinnamon sticks, and they're really old fashioned like this. Hmm. And it just tastes like a brown sugar lollipop. It reminds me a bit of that candy that I had in Germany, and it was a Bavarian candy. Very kind of similar in texture and flavor. Okay, another chocolate. This one's really sweet. It has a beautiful letter A on it. And this one looks to be a caramel. Mmm. Oh, now I taste it. Wow. Very, very interesting. The caramel is soft and chewy and a little bit buttery. And just the slightest taste of apple, a little bit of sourness. Very salty and then a milk chocolate coating on the outside. Chow with peppermint, and I believe they're just mints. Um, again, I think there were different flavors of these. I think there was a violet one, and I've learned from, I believe it was Emmy Eats Sweden video where I ate a viol, which is a violet flavored candy, and it was terrible. <laughs> so I didn't buy that. There. How cute is that? Mm -hmm. It's just a mint. Not as intensely minty as an Altoid, but quite minty, and a little bit harder. And because it's a square, it kind of is a little bit rough in your mouth, but good. Like metallic dusting powders. I don't know what that is, but it's kind of bronzy. This one has a soft interior. Whoa. I don't know what that is. Very, very sweet. Kind of goopy in there. Let's taste that. Boy, I'm not sure what that is. But really nice dark chocolate on the outside. But quite sweet. I find that I don't like the soft, soft centers as much because they're a little bit too sweet. It's called Sutler Cyrus Original Musket Ball Candy. And this is supposed to be black powder. Civil War America, I guess. And this one is, same company, called Cartridge Candy. 
Let's try the musket balls first. Beautiful black candy. I hope they're not licorice, but let's find out. Oh, it's like a jawbreaker. It's licorice. <laughs> it's turning my teeth black. Not my favorite. Black powder candy, but really big granules of sugar. It just tastes like sugar and it stains your fingers and your teeth black. <laughs> Pour it down your muzzle, it says. Tear it and then it's this powdered sugar inside. That's fun. It's like what you guys in the UK call sherbet. It's just granulated sugar that's flavored with flavoring and dyed a color and has a bunch of citric acid in there so it's nice and tangy. This one has a little bit of green crystals on top and from the inside it's just white and but you can smell the peppermint. Here we go. Let's taste it. Mmm. 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 Mint and dark chocolate are like the bestest friends. So not overly sweet, nice and minty, so delicious. This is called Peppermint Gibraltars from, again, from Salem, Mass, famous for the, for the witch hunts. Here's the story. Early in the 19th century, the Spencer family sailed from England to Massachusetts. When they lost all their worldly goods in a shipwreck, they arrived in a rather destitute condition and their neighbors in the north part of Salem offered assistance. It became known that Mrs. Spencer was a candy maker. A barrel of sugar was donated. It was this barrel of sugar that laid the foundations of the now well-known Salem Gibraltars. Mrs. Spencer bought a horse-drawn wagon from which to peddle her wares through the streets of Salem and surrounding towns. Her son continued making the and selling Gibraltars until they returned to England and sold the business to Mr. Pepper. This candy tradition is still being carried by the Pepper Company today. Oh my gosh, how cool! Look, this is the candy. Can you see that? It has these little striations. Hand cut piece of candy. I had a candy that's very similar to this in shape. It's this parallelogram shape in Okinawa, and it was a mint, but it had a little pink and green streaks in it. Mmm! It's like a soft bite. It melts away, and it's slightly minty. I actually would like it to be a little bit more mintier, but for an old-fashioned candy, so charming. It says it's the first candy made commercially in America. Dun 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 dun. I think that's a bit of salt on top. I think this is a caramel. Let's give it a go. Mm hmm. Wow. That is delicious. I like that better than the apple one with the chocolate on the outside, which is nice and sweet. Salty, salty center. And nice, buttery kind of finish. Delightful. I forget, I think these were called barley candies. I'll try the yellow one and see how they taste. So they're all different kind of shape. They're rounded, but they're a little bit misshapen. They're very imperfect. Oh yeah, now I taste it. And after you let it melt in your mouth a little bit, the yellow one has lemon. These remind me of these, when I was a kid, my dad as a treat would buy me candies that came in a tin. I believe they're French, they're called pastilles. He would always buy me the fruit flavored one that had I think raspberry, orange, lemon in it. And they were so precious to me. They were a bit like this. This one, that looks like this. I'm thinking this might be a peanut butter cup. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's a peanut butter cup. Outside, dark chocolate. Inside has a peanut butter kind of filling. Not as salty as like a, a Reese's peanut butter cup. A little bit fluffy in texture. Quite peanut buttery. We really taste it at the end. I think I actually like a Reese's peanut butter cup better. <laughs> Is that sacrilege to say? Hey, you know, it's my show. I can say what I want. <laughs> but still, for a fancy one, that's quite nice. I do believe that's everything, and I think I'm going to be bouncing off the walls because I consumed way too much sugar. But c'est la vie. So I hope you guys enjoy that. I hope you guys learned something, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! <laughs> but I think it probably means something like good wishes or... It's a lot of work to maintain a mustache.